Tuesday, 4th of August 2015. Let's look the highlights of newspaper today. First, we look at the highlights from Daily Mirror. The very first headline is Tajuddin's killing. CAD seeks AG's advice. Police protection for Tajuddin's grave. The CAD has sought the Attorney General's advice on exhuming the body of former Havelock Sports Club rugby captain and Sri Lanka ragaride Rasim Dajuddin in connection with a magisterial into his death, police so said. The next highlight is Sujiva may be reliant on Mahindra Rajapaksa, Ravi Karnanayaka said. The recent incident which culminated with the shooting at Kotahena may have been the work of Mahindra Rajapaksa's thugs. When we check this news briefly, while denying any links with the underworld gangsters, Finance Minister Ravi Karnayaka said yesterday that the fellow candidate and Deputy Justice Minister Sujiva Sena Singer might be reliant on ex-President Mahindra Rajapaksa for some reason because he had absolved Mr. Rajapaksa of any involvement in the Kotahena shooting. The next highlight says, Kotakena shooting, another dies. Another of those who received gunshot injuries at the last Friday shooting in Kotakena died in hospital bringing the death toll to two, police said. Police spokesman Ruben Gunasegra said 30 years old blood singer and Erosan Sambat, a resident of Grand Pass, died while being treated at the National Hospital. The next highlight is, Laxman wasn't arrested on assault charges. When we check this news briefly, a former Deputy Minister and United People's Freedom Alliance Mathala District candidate, Laxman Vasandhapera was yesterday produced before the Mathala magistrate on assault charges and remanded till August 6. He was arrested when he surrendered to the police over a complaint that he had abducted and assaulted United National Party local government member Peel Dahanayaka. Next, we move to the papers of Ceylon today. The Ceylon today headline is Death threats on Sajith and Mahindra Rajapaksa. Suspicious person near Rajapaksa's office caught and handed over to the police. The next highlight is Radha case, CID records Varna Singer's statement at Jathike Kalevurme office. The Criminal Investigation Department yesterday recorded a statement from Jathike Kalevurme media spokesman Nishanta Varna Singer over the Radha case and the Jathike Kalevurme office in Bataramulla. Varna Singer lodged a complaint against former parliamentarian Tiran Alas over a political dispute with the letter. The next highlight is Prabhagran's bodyguard in election fray. Sivanathan Navindra alias Vendan, a former bodyguard of a slain Tamil Tiger leader Velipli Prabhagran, is among the nine ex-Tigers militants contesting the 17th August Sri Lanka parliamentarian elections from the Jaffna Klinoche electoral. The next highlight is GCEAL examination commences today. When we check this news briefly, Commissioner of Examination WMJ Puspakumara said the GCEAL examination commences today and advised students to read the instruction given in the question paper before answering the questions. A number of candidates lose marks because of carelessness. He added, 390,079 candidates are sitting for the exam at 2,180 centers. He added that all candidates should take their admission card and a valid national identity card. The examination will be held in two stages, from 4th to 13 August and from 24th August to 8th September. Next, we look at the paper highlight from Daily News. Central Expressway at the half original cost. When we check this news briefly, the first phase of the Central Expressway from Colombo to Kandy commenced yesterday. The expressway cutting through the central province will be constructed at half the original cost and mark a new era in the country's development sphere. It was earlier estimated to cost double the present cost. The government has been able to cut down the entire cost by 50% and construction work has been entrusted to China Metrological Company. The next highlight is Sajin case put off for August 10. The Colombo High Court yesterday fixed the hearing on the ruling on the bail application filed by former MP Sajin Silva Gunavardhana to August 10. Former UPFA MP Gunavardhana was remanded on charges of missing 23 vehicles belonging to the Presidential Secretariat. The next highlight is Rot accidents climb six small leaves. Six persons die and seven others were critically injured in road accidents on Sunday. A three-wheeler collide head-on with a private bus at Udamata Eheli Ekoda around 10 p.m., seriously injuring six persons in the three-wheeler. Two of them died at Eheli Ekoda Hospital and one of the injured succumbed at the Radhmapura Hospital. That's the paper highlights today and we will review the papers tomorrow.